Hey everybody, this is Dan for Gamer D on Cars. Now we got a weird uh, vehicle to review for you today. Now when I, when I do my channel, I like to do some popular cars, cars that I'm interested in. But today we just have a little bit different one. This is a, just a weird truck. This is a 2003 Chevy SSR. This came from like the turn of the 2000s when GM was making pretty boring cars and SUVs and minivans. Back in the early 2000s, that's when minivans were still popular. But this is like a retro styled truck, hot rod, retractable hardtop thing, but it does have a 5.3 liter V8 with 300 horsepower. It'll go zero to 60 in something like seven, seven and a half seconds, which is kind of weird, but the big thing about this is the styling and really why this was made, because I couldn't tell you why this truck was made. So we're gonna go over all these specs, we're gonna get down the road, we're gonna talk about how it is a weird truck. So let's talk about the Chevy SSR. Now when I do my videos, uh, I try to compare them to other vehicles in the class, but there's literally nothing that you can compare this truck to. Now it's sort of, when, when I think of this truck, it sort of comes to mind is a Nissan Murano Cross Cabriolet. They essentially took a popular SUV and made a two door convertible out of it, which that makes me think another car that has no rivals, no competitors, but this uh, is one of them. There's nothing to compare this to. This is just a truck that has retro styling and I have to say it didn't really catch on. I mean, this is the time in GM's history where they were almost going bankrupt. So this car came out in 2003, or this truck, and 2008, basically GM went bankrupt, so they never made another SSR, which makes me think that the values of these were sort of okay. Now, when this came out, this was about $45,000. Now, you can get this car, truck, today for about $22,000 here at Click Lewis Chevy Buick in Palmyra, Pennsylvania. But I have nothing to compare this to, and uh, I want to talk about the styling just because it's so odd and so out there, but I have nothing to compare this to. We're just going to take it for what it is. It's a retro style truck that for some reason has a retractable hardtop and a tonneau cover that you can't really use to haul stuff, but you, you can still use it like a truck. All right, let's talk about the styling. All right, so let's let's gaze at this thing and talk about the styling. Now, it doesn't, if you just sort of walk up to it, you wouldn't really know that it is a retractable hardtop. And I will flash a video of what the hardtop looks like going up and down right there. It's just kind of weird you can still have a, a two seat you know open top experience it's kind of a gloomy day here in Palmyra it's gonna rain so I want to get this in but yeah it's just funky looking now I think the fender flares are about eight inches wider than the body you can see how much they they flare out right there now there's fender flares in the front and back and this car has cobwebs all over you can sort of tell that it hasn't been driven in a while because I got into the front seat and there were just cobwebs everywhere so the styling is definitely retro styling in the early 2000s chevy did this sort of bar that went across the headlights i think if you look at the chevy malibu it had sort of similar styling but yeah there's the big chevy bow tie there's the lights that have seen better days they need a little bit of toothpaste on them there's your tiny little turn signals right there but someone who's like a diehard gm chevy guy i think this would be a really cool uh, vehicle for them now in 2004 this is an 03 in 04 they came out with a six liter v8 that had almost 400 horsepower which is which is a lot for the time i mean this car has about 300 horsepower had the same engine as like a chevy trailblazer uh it's a 5.3 liter v8 but i mean it's it's weird but i think it's kind of cool I mean, it's just so unique. I mean, there's nothing out there like it. Uh, you've got Continental tires. Now they are 19s and 20s in the back, a little bit of a staggered st setup. Now this uh, door handle is in the back tonneau uh, pickup bed as well. But it's weird, it's just a circle right there. I I'm gonna keep saying the word weird, but it is a, a different looking truck. Now this, I think the back end looks pretty cool. Now 
At this time in GM's history, there was a Chevy Silverado SS. So they sort of wanted to do like a hot rod. So they called it the SSR. Um, you've got two dual exhaust pipes right there. Here's what the exhaust sounds like right here. trunk and just see what it looks like you take this hold it in and this pops up very slowly so okay that is the tonneau cover and it is carpeted on the inside but if you want to open up the bed right there there is the other door handle that looks exactly like the door on the outside so we're gonna open that up see there's the same silver handle so this is the SSR opened up. Um, I don't know if you're gonna wanna get it too dirty in here, it is carpeted, but you definitely could use it to store some stuff, you know, go get bags of mulch. I'm sure you could take the uh, carpet out just to haul some stuff, but you could fit groceries in here. You could fit pretty much anything, but you really just couldn't use it as a full-size truck like that Silverado right there, or, or many of these trucks here at Click Lewis. So one weird thing is when you wanna shut it, you have to shut the bottom part first. And there is the button right there to get, uh, if you ever get kidnapped by somebody in an SSR. But then you shut the top and that's it, right back to normal. So that's how you work the bed. It's just still a little funky. But yeah, I don't know. There's not much to say other than the hard top is a little bit different. So all right, let's, let's put the top down and see what it looks like with the top down. All right, so just put the top down of the SSR. And that I think is probably the coolest part of this, how you can put the top down. Now, if you stop the hard top halfway through it there is a lot of space underneath the cargo uh opening right there I'll, I'll flash a picture of what that looks like but you can store some stuff back there uh, to give you a little bit of extra space compared to what you have with the bed so it's a little bit more versatility but it, there's your little wind catcher right there that does say ssr so this i think is pretty cool i think this might be the coolest part about the ssr that it is a retractable hard top now i often said that like if i was in the market for like a supercar or like any type of performance car, I would try to find a hardtop convertible version of it because that gives you sort of the best of both worlds. You wouldn't have to worry about the rag top, plus you just have the versatility of you know not worrying about the winter weather or just rain period. So I think this is uh, the coolest part about the SSR. It just looks, I think this makes it look pretty much pretty cooler. So yeah, uh, I like the top down aspect of the SSR. So all right, let's take a look at the engine. Oh. I'm having a little issue here because I can't I can't get the hood prop open, so I'm just holding this open with my one hand. So anyway, very quickly, this is the 5.3 liter V8 of the SSR. And also, this is like the heaviest like hood I've ever experienced. I'm like getting a workout with my right arm here. So this is the 5.3 liter V8. I said about 300 horsepower. Now at the time, this is the engine also in the Chevy Trailblazer and the Silverado. So it sort of has the pedigree to be a V8. I mean, this would be one less or cool thing about it if it didn't have a v8 i think if it had a six cylinder that wouldn't be as cool but yeah i uh i'm struggling because yeah this is uh this is what a early 2000s v8 made by gm looks like and i think it's cool how there's so much you know so much left of the car i mean the headlights are way out wide this sort of hood sort of is in the middle there's like not much space right here so this is the ssr all right let's take a look at the interior going on the inside of the SSR with the top down on a gloomy day. Now this is gonna take you back because this is definitely a blast from the past. Now this sort of has like a retro looking steering wheel, which I think is kind of cool. They're big on these silver trim in here too. You got the silver trim the whole way across the steering wheel, the spokes down below, that sort of retro styling. But this radio is in every Chevy Silverado from like 2000 to like 2010. I'm just having major flashbacks. Now you got simple gauges here. You got a speedometer in the middle that goes up to 140. You got your tachometer over there. A couple of little bit of information back there. And that is pretty much it. Now I did see that some of the SSRs, this little slot right there, you can put a cup holder right here and it like flips down right here. But this does have the cup holder right there. But you can also, the one on the side, you can put the cup holder on this side. Which I think it's kind of cool but if you're driving your leg would totally get in the way i mean if you had something there to drink you would for sure knock it with your leg so i think it'd be cool to put it over here but this is a kind of cool little quirky cup holder right there again this is like silverado dash gauges but these are like silver trimmed i just think it's kind of cool i mean i'm getting some vibes here that this is a cool 
uh, truck. I think when this car, when this truck came out, like in early 2000s, this thing was pretty awesome. I mean, you never saw these on the road. These vents are like tiny. There's my whole hand right there. You got them on the left side and the right side. These are just tiny right there. So anyway, this is the SSR. I don't know if that's stock or I don't know if somebody put that in. And I'm sure you can hear the uh, stuff behind me. Now you got like black painted. I wonder if that's color matched. Um, behind the seat, there's a tool kit, and behind there is the speakers right there. But yeah, there's not much to report. Um, these seats feel very comfortable. Now, here's the button to operate the top right there. There's your traction control. Hopefully, if you wanted to put the window down, you wouldn't accidentally hit the traction control. There's your door lock. There's your other window control. Now, this has these circular uh, door handles right there. This door is like a 1,000 pounds. It is super heavy. It has a nice clunk right there, too. So yeah, this is the... Uh, SSR turn of the century Chevy trying to be cool, but I don't really know if it worked. So, all right, let's get out and wrap this up and get this thing on the road. All right, so we're gonna wrap up my quick look here at a 2003 Chevy SSR. And honestly, I, I don't know what to make of this truck. I mean, it is pretty cool. I think maybe the coolness factor has gone down as the years have gone on. But if you're like a GM guy, you know, Corvette, GM, Cadillac guy that just wants to have a different ride that is a truck, but it also has a V8 because why not? Because V8s are awesome. Plus the retractable hardtop adds to the coolness. So I don't know, I, I, I try to review cool and weird cars and trucks and this is definitely one of the weirdest that i've reviewed and if you're interested in this truck you can go to click lewis chevy buick here in palmyra pa twenty two thousand dollars is a lot of money but if you're a gm guy this could be cool to add to your collection so don't forget to check out click lewis chevy buick and palmyra pa now let's get out on the road and see how this v8 performs uh if you like what you see hit that subscribe button don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok at Gamey Dion Cars. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.